We are going to paint a still life of a group of bottles in pastel. Begin by laying in a lovely violet in the center and some sky blue near the neck and the lower end. Blend with the finger. Add the yellow for the neck and blend. Use some yellow ochre for the shady areas and the markings. With white and blue show the reflection and warm up the upper half with a reddish brown. Then with a dark blue, such as patello blue or similar, build up the shadows. Now, with a white pencil, add all the vertical lines, being careful in keeping to the shape of the bottle. And with a soft white stick, place the window reflections. Also touch up the neck. With a very dark blue pencil, work in the darkest shadows. Now for the yellow bottle, add some very light yellow-green for the plug and the shadow with a dark green pencil. Add the highlight. First lay a base of soft white for the body and then a yellow layer over it. Add the blue Tarot blue reflections of the violet bottle. Use yellow ochre for the shadows. Add a very light touch of white for the window reflection and the same strong white for the actual highlight. Darken up the shadow side with yellow ochre and then sharpen up the edge of the plug with a green pencil. Lightly touch over with a brown pencil and shade at the bottom of the bottle. Lay in the blue and sharpen the edge against the yellow bottle. Lighten up the left side where it overlaps the yellow bottle with some soft white and blend. Slowly build it up until you arrive at the correct tonal range. Add the highlight and with a dark blue paint the shadow side and blend. With a rubber shaper smooth out the dark shadow at the base. And then add a dark opening and the edge highlights. With a tall, tall blue bottle with a yellow pencil fill in the metal stopper. Smooth out and add shadows with yellow ochre. Darken up with a light brown pencil and add the bright yellow highlights. Paint the body with tallow blue and lay a purple color over it and gently blend with the finger. Blend some black into the shadow side and smooth out. And now with some white add the window reflection and blend so that the bottle has a lovely rounding appearance. With a very light blue, add the window highlight and the cast shadow from the other bottle on the right. Darken the shadow under the lip and finish off all the other minor reflections. It is these reflections that make the brain think that the bottle has a shiny glaze all over. With a light grey, sharpen up the outer edges of the bottle. Paint the lovely green stopper and add the shadows and reflections. Strengthen parts of the shadows and add the yellow bright highlights. Add soft white to the top half and blend smoothly with the finger. Using the side of a grey pencil, gently add the shadows and blend softly with the finger. Now outline the grasshopper with a white pencil and finish the lower half with white. Continue shading with a grey pencil and all strokes follow the shape of the bottle. Darken up parts with a black pencil. Now color in the grasshopper with the various colors and with the brown pencil draw in the legs and the long antennae. Brighten up and add the details. Paint the shelf with a darkish grey. Keep the shelf edge a little bit lighter. Add the bottle shadows with a mauve pencil. Darken up close to the base of the bottles. 
the deeper shadows are here. Edge the shelf off with some burnt sienna and then darken the shadow below the shelf and smooth out. With a white pencil indicate the reflection on the top shelf corner. Turn the painting upside down as it is much easier painting the background this way as there is no dust spillage over the finished bottles. Blend smoothly and then carefully edge off the bottles. To finish off, touch up a few of the highlights. Please like this video if you have enjoyed watching it. We would love you to subscribe to our channel.